Hey everyone, so tonight I'm gonna to shoot a little video for a buddy of mine, and I think this is gonna be interesting because I am using the ZV-E10 with, uh, and I'm gonna bring along my GVM light, good video maker. Let me show you this bad boy right here. Not that, this. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna be taking these two things. Um, I should disclose though, like right now, I'm using the 16 millimeter Sigma lens, which is a, great companion to this camera, but I just think this is gonna be interesting because these are two pieces of YouTube tech that are super relevant that people always buy and I kinda of wanna see what you can get out of something like this. And I'm also using the mic on the camera, so this will be a good test to see what that sounds like. Oh my gosh. I don't know if the setting is medium or high, but look at the makeup on my skin. Mmm, I am glam out. It's the softening skin mode, I believe. So not used to that speed, that's awesome. Anyways, catch you guys soon. This setting on my face that <laughs> looks really glammed out is on medium. So either turn it off or set it to low, I would say. Unless you wanna look like this. I mean, this is pretty, this is a good look for me. I don't know. Maybe I should start doing uh, makeup videos. I don't know what you guys think. Makeup tutorials, the channel coming soon, maybe, we'll see. I'm pretty bad at vlogging. Uh, I t like record that little bit and then just totally forgot about everything and then didn't do anything as far as recording wise. But don't worry, I haven't really done anything really. I some articles and picking up around my space. So um, yeah, I mean, is that what you really wanna see? Do you really wanna see this? Do you really wanna see me read this article, do you? Huh? Huh? All right, well you asked for it, so here you go. I really like this camera uh, with a little red telly light. Telly, I don't know how you say it. Whatever, the little red light with the little, it's just really nice. Initially I thought this camera was not gonna be at all like an upgrade from my A6000, which sounds really silly to say, but it's because they're the same, it, they both have the same APS-C sensor. So it's like, it's like I'm buying the same camera again, but this is just so much nicer for video. Like, I feel like you can definitely tell that this was made for video, whereas like for the longest time I was trying to shoot videos with a camera that was made for photos. It's super nice, I, I, I really, Appreciate this video camera. Mode is on. That's so fast and so cool. I know everybody's done that, but it's 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 so different to see it actually work. And I wonder what this mic sounds like, because I it's it's gotta be pretty bad only because this room is super empty and like it's kind of far from me and the mic is not, you know, it can't be the best quality mic, it's a built-in mic. So like if you're behind the camera, I'm assuming it would sound a lot better and it would probably like bring the levels down automatically so you can hear me better and more clearly. Hopefully that's the case. But if not, this is what you can expect from the audio. Now how to... There it is, you see that? My hands are not moving the tripod and yet the image is still moving. So I think that's like some sort of smoothing feature I'm assuming. Um, I'm not sure, I have this mostly on auto and I have it in the video mode which by the way, removes that crop effect so you can see what you're gonna get before you start shooting. Maybe that has something to do with it. I have no idea. I am finally done with article reading and writing a short essay. It is now 7.23, so I've got to hustle and pack all my stuff so we can attempt to shoot the promotional music video. So do you think this should be the one that's overhead? Or do you want to try announcing that one? I'm dancing, I'm dancing, I'm dancing. Still I rise like a vampire. Turn the doubts to an anthem. Heard the yearning from the fans. I heard the questions, I'm the answer. This me flexing for the cameras. This a lesson to the slander. I'm Heisenberg with a rap and then I'm sliding to my cabin in New Hampshire. It's past time, it's been a past time. I need the cash diamonds in a bag. Sign seal and deliver to my alley right now. I bet it's someone pull up. After I came home and I checked the footage, I just felt like the footage on the ZV-E10 in 1080p, which is what I was shooting, just looked like garbage. It started to bother me. I'm like, am I doing something wrong? Is this camera just 
looking terrible. Even if this camera had bad video quality, I would still like it because of the practicality of the flip screen and the light and the big record button. I just like using this camera. It's a joy to use, but still it was bothering me. So what I did is I got my A6000, which I always shot video on and always looks fine to me. And I started recording like just around my house just so I could compare like, does this look super grainy? And to my surprise, it looked bad to me on the A6000 as well. So I'm thinking maybe it's something I'm doing or maybe I'm just the one expecting too much out of this budget gear. Um, but yeah, some of the shots, I mean, given it was very low light and um, I don't know if I was on auto ISO or manual, but like this was my first time actually using the camera, like using it, using it. So I could have messed up a bunch of stuff. However, um, I mean, we're in pretty good light here. I overexposed this shot a little bit according to the screen, which I heard can kind of be a little inaccurate on these on this Sony ZV E10. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm sure it looks great here. So I mean, it's and this is 1080p. So I'm sure this is perfectly functional. It's perfectly good. It's just, I don't know. I'll show you some examples. It looked terrible. Though. All this to say that I think it's gonna take a little while before I can make like an accurate judgment on this camera. Cause like I said, I thought it would look terrible. Then I came home and my A6000 looked the same. And I thought my A6000 would have looked way better. I'm really glad I waited to make any like serious judgments about the ZV E10 because the last three clips that you saw from the video sam the music video sample footage was taken with the ZV E10 and I thought looked a lot better. I will say that that day I set my own ISO for sure. I took off active steady shot and I had more dynamic lighting and I just was really impressed with the results. Now I will say that the footage is still a little bit grainy when using 1080p. I haven't really used 4K so I can only speak to the 1080p. I have heard that the 4K looks better not just because of resolution but because of image, just image quality in general. But I will say I don't really mind the grain anyway so I'm still gonna shoot in 1080p. I'm still gonna enjoy it and I'm still really liking the camera. I just wanted to include this because I didn't want you to get the impression that I didn't like the image quality coming from this camera. It was mostly my fault. I didn't really know how to use it. I didn't set up the lighting well enough, but um, but yeah, it looks really great. And I, I think you can kind of tell the difference if you go from the last three clips from the sample music video to all the other clips. I just needed to include this in here for you to know that I like it. I still love using this. I still love the screen. I still love the light. I like the white body on this camera, by the way. It just makes me feel like I have something different since all the APS-C Sony cameras kind of look the same to me. And um, yeah, this. Big, bright screen, I like looking at it. This is me looking at the screen. This is me looking at you. The screen, looking at you. I don't know if I'm gonna drag this video out any longer, um, but if you wanna see more A, I mean, a Z, if you wanna see more ZV-E10 videos, let me know in the comment section down below or just like this video. I probably will, because I have this camera. And um, I was really interested in it before buying it, so I'm sure a lot of you are too. So, um, but I would, if I did more videos, it'd just be more like, literally like personal experience stuff. I probably wouldn't go over specs and, reviews or whatnot because there is plenty of great stuff like that out there. I want to shout somebody out because he helped me purchase this camera. He's all over YouTube, but I'll get his name just so that like you for sure can um, look him up if you want more ZVE10. I'm sure you've already seen him because if you look up ZVE10, he's going to be one of the first ones. Let's see. It's Mark Bennett's Camera Crisis. He makes really funny and informative videos on the ZV-E10. He has a bunch of them and as well as a bunch of other cameras. So him, and I believe her name is Diana Gladley. Let me look her up just to make sure. Almost had it right. It's Diana Gladney with, with an N. So look up Diana Gladney and Mark's, Mark Bennett's Camera Crisis. Those two channels are were the most informative and helped me in my decision making of purchasing this camera. But uh, if you like the video, don't forget to like it. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see down below. Peace guys.